a common mistake I see with founders, CEOs, and business owners of professional services firm is to wait until what defines their company is clear enough to start communicating it, to start creating meaningful content about it. That's a mistake because, in fact, what gets you to that level of clarity is not another closed door session with your team or alone to really you know think hard about how to best define what your company does and who it does it for what we call coming up with a statement no in fact that very process is way faster way more authentic natural and easier if you start by talking about it and experimenting with it because that's when when you when you when you put yourself in a position to explain to others what your work is and what makes you excited and what makes you good at it who it is uh, without knowing exactly the right words first that's how the words that's how the right messaging occurs and comes to you why is that it's because you may be able to explain what your company does, but there is no better way than listening to your clients or, pros or, or prospective clients about what your company does. I used to believe that I was better than anyone at defining what my, my, my company does, what MetaHelm does. And in fact, I learned over the years, uh, sometimes painfully, that the best people uh, out there to tell me uh, the definition of the impact of MetaHelm were my clients because they were able to give me feedback on an experience that I was not part of. I mean, I was delivering the experience, but I was not receiving the outcome of the experience. So they were able to give me feedback about the very experience from their point of view with their own words, words that are also relevant to other potential customers, other partners, other recruits. Therefore, once I switched, I switched my mindset to letting the outside talk about what Menham does for me, I was able to get to uh, the positioning and the definition of what MetaHelm provides. Today, MetaHelm specializes in strategic narrative for professional services firm. And what we do is that we help CEOs, business owners, and founders of those firms create uh, focus and make traction. So our mission is to turn every single of those organizations into sources of inspirations that few can resist, right? Today, I'm able to explain to you uh, you know, what Metaham does in about 20 to 30 seconds. But it took me years before I found this formula. And it's very likely that the statement, this formula, this, this way of explaining very succinctly uh, what my company does will evolve again over time. Uh, in this, in in the course of the, you know, the five, in the five years, five, now five, uh, coming on six years, of MetaHelm's existence, I, I changed that positioning. I changed that way to define MetaHelm probably seven to 10 times. I have, a, I have a Google document somewhere where I documented this evolution. And I was, I was stunned and I, was, I felt very bad. I felt very uh, guilty. I felt uh, ashamed that I was not able to explain very concretely and succinctly what, what the value, the, basically my value proposition. Um, until I realized that, yeah, it's a process. It's a process of exploration. Uh, it's not a one and done thing. It's actually a process that recognizes that the purpose of a company is evolutionary. It evolves based on the context, based on uh, your skill set, based on your know-how, and most importantly, based on what the market, so people willing to buy from you, what the market wants to buy, right? What the market wants to, to get from you, how, how the market is receiving your, your business proposition, your value proposition. So it took me, took me, you know, sometimes to, uh, and, 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 and not to mention MetaHelm is the fourth venture I, I'm building. 
So it was not my first time. And so it took me a while to realize that this is a process. This is an evolutionary, exploratory, generative process, not something you decide and then you stick to, uh, because that's that's the best recipe for failure. Statistically, what are the chances that you are able to predict uh, we, we know the, how your, your company will best resonate pe with people. The chances are very, very slim. You need to work with your market. You need to collaborate. You need to involve people in giving you feedback and providing you that information. How do you do that? How do you embark on such an exploration? You use opportunities to talk about your work. That's at the highest level uh, the highest level, what it takes. So what could be those opportunities? You start creating meaningful content on social media platform. That's probably the first one, the first method that comes to mind when it comes to, to embarking in the process of helping your business find its direction. You write blog articles. You publish videos like I'm doing right now and you start talking about the work that you do what is it that you do, why it matters, um, how you're getting better at it. I mean, the list of questions is really pretty much endless. You can also uh, be interviewed on podcast, which is really a very, more recently a very broadly method, broad method, widely access, accessible and um, widely acceptable method to uh, have somebody else, a host, the host of a podcast, interview you and ask you, questions that guide you to explore the different facets of your business. You can write a book, right? You can write a, a short book or a big book. It doesn't matter the read the format. My my book, my first book, uh, Strategic Narrative, is actually quite visual and quite short. Uh, it reads in 13 minutes. And you can actually even see me read it on one of the YouTube videos. What else? There are different, you know, even more methods. You can go to conferences, you can speak in front of people, you can tweet, you can write all sorts of stuff. But as long as you invest a little bit of time and maybe not, not as much as you think, because we're not talking about publishing something highly scripted and polished yet, because it's an explorative process. We're prototyping, we're testing ideas. So invest 10% of your time Assuming that your week is 40 hours worth of work, it's four hours a week. Four hours a week goes very quickly to create and share with others about what your business is, you know, what it does, how it works, how it operates, what it stands for, what are the values. Uh, give an example of a client or a product or a service that you launched and what are the mistakes you always see and what are the, pa the patterns you discover and experiment with different thoughts and ideas and so on. Four hours a week is not a lot. It's actually quite a small amount compared to all of the um, all of the other work that you might be doing with your business. And and plus, it's already how you start impacting the people you serve, right? Your impact, your impact, start the second, literally the second you embark on this exploration journey. This method, this approach I'm describing to you is not about thinking harder or longer or really waiting for inspiration to come. This approach is action oriented. It's about scheduling some time to do it, committing to doing it and getting it done, shipping it and sharing it with others and starting a conversation with others because then you're going to get feedback. You'll be able to respond, to readjust that's how your st your strategy becomes alive, right? A strategy is not a document that you write once and for good and that you force yourself and your team to follow. It has to be flexible. Sure, you may have goals, you may have aspirations, things that are probably on the horizon that you want to shoot for. These are very important, very critical thing to do. But in between here, today, and you, and those aspirational goals, that's what you need to, to explore. That's what you need to explore through meaningful content creation and conversation with your market. 
you may also want to include your clients in there. You know, uh, just a bit earlier in this video, I mentioned how getting feedback from your clients is critical. Do you really know what how your service makes them feel? Do you really understand with their words the situations they were uh, before they were in before they started working with you, and how you change and, and potentially transformed their lives? Right? Do you really have the right words to explain these to other potential clients? Well, don't try to come up. Don't try to make up those words. Uh, you're you can't guess these. You don't have a crystal ball. So if you feel like it's really hard to come up with compelling messaging that is clear, concise enough for prospective client, give yourself a break. It's too hard to guess. Don't try to guess. Stop the guesswork. Go ask your potential clients. Go ask your friends. Look at your network. Start asking them what is it that they're experiencing and if they had um, if, if they could just do maybe wave just a magic wand, you know, what is the service that they would love to receive from you? And how would they describe it? Like if they had to explain to somebody else, how would they describe to this person? Uh, what is it that you do? And yet again, I'm going to sound like a broken record. A record. I'm going to sound like a broken record. Yeah. Don't, again, do not wait to have it perfect, right? It's not because you don't know how to explain it, to explain your business that you that you should wait, right? You should actually start because you don't know how to explain your business. This process is very much like cooking or baking or making crepes, right? When you do crepes or pancakes, I don't know if you have ever tried to do French crepes, look at the recipe. I can tell you that the first few crepes are going to be a disaster. They're going to be mushy. They're going to be a little too, but too, too burnt because uh, you, you know, you, you, you crank the heat a little too much. So you're adjusting then for the, for the following crepes, you, you're adjusting the heat down, but it's the same. So give yourself some leeway, but essentially, essentially start today. Start explaining to others what your business does. Start talking about what your business does and get this conversation going through the methods that um, I have just explained uh, to you in this video. I hope this helps and I would love to hear what benefits you're getting uh, from this process. Thank you so much.